I'm just a normal person with no video editing background who wanted to start making YouTube videos and maybe add semi-fancy effects. I don't really plan on making major motion pictures or commercials, so I was looking for a free, easy to learn video editing software. Luckily, I stumbled on Shotcut, a free open source video editing program that has the potential to replicate similar effects that an Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve can, but with a simpler, leaner interface. It just takes imagination. So let's learn together. So here we have Shotcut. I took the liberty of dragging the two files that I'm going to be using already on my playlist and I'm going to drag it into the timeline. So this is the zoom from file, which is basically fishing videos that I'm going to be using only because I have so much fishing videos from all my other YouTube channel. And so this is going to be the source and what I'm going to try to do is have the video zoom into me and go into another video to make it look like a transition seamlessly to make it look like I just caught a fish in the next scene and so I'm gonna drag the second video into another track I find it a lot easier when I separate my video clips into different tracks just in case I want to do a master effect or master filter on all of it hold on let me turn off the sound here so it doesn't bug you so this is where I'm going to zoom into, but I want to cut it to there, right when I get a bite and right when I set the hook. And so I'm going to click on this cutting tool. I'm going to pick the clip. I'm going to use the scissor icon, and it then removes the clip that I don't want to use. And so that's going to be the transition. It's going to zoom from a video of me right into this cast and so what I want to do is I want to add a zoom effect so it makes it look like it's from the same clip and here's how we're going to do it first I go to the end of the very first track and what I'm going to do is I'm going to count back six frames and so I'm just going to use the left arrow key and press it six times and just so I can isolate the area that I'm going to zoom, I'm actually going to cut this clip and only focus on the clip that I'm going to zoom into. Just so if I ever do additional filters or effects on the previous clip, it doesn't affect the zoom clip that I just cut out. Today we're going to focus on a filter called Rotate and Scale. It's probably one of the most commonly used filters on Shotcut. Along with that, we're going to be using the keyframe functionality. If you don't know what a keyframe is, or you want to learn more about it, I can probably make a video. So if you comment below, and if I get enough comments, I'll, I'll most likely make a video to demonstrate how to utilize keyframes. So first, you position your cursor at the beginning of your clip and set that to 100%. That's because you, you don't want any, any, any magnification right, right off the bat because you want to make it look seamless. And then you position it at the end of the clip and then we're going to set the magnification to let's say 300%. And so that's what it's going to do. It's going to, at the beginning of the clip, it's going to start at 100% and then it's going to then zoom into 300%. And basically that's it. That's what the keyframe does. It's whatever setting you set at the beginning of the clip and then whatever you whatever setting you set at the at the next keyframe, which in this instance I set it for the end of the clip. As I'm zooming in, I notice that I'm a little bit off center in this particular clip. So what I want to do is I want to activate the the grids icon. You see the little boxes there, little tic-tac-toe boxes in there. And what I want to do is I want to make it look like the video is zooming to me. And so as I'm zooming in, I want to make sure that I'm at the center. So this time I'm going to activate the X offset of the rotate and scale setting so that it then creates another keyframe. And I'm going to set 
the beginning keyframe to zero, but at the end, I want to make sure that I'm at the center of it. And so the X offset is basically the left and right setting. Um, so if you want to move yourself left or right, so here's, I'm using the grid so that I can ensure that I'm at the center of this whole thing. Now, I also want to make sure that I'm at the center up and down, and so I'm going to activate the Y offset, and so I'm going to set the initial keyframe to zero, but then I'm going to set my cursor to the very end, and I want to make sure that I'm at the center of this video, and so I'm going to move it up a little bit here. And how you do this is just using the up or down arrow key whether or not you want to move yourself up or down or let's just keep playing it to make sure that it's again it's not going to be perfect because I started out not at the center of the video so this is this is the best that we can do I mean I can I can probably clip part of this video but I you know for for all intents and purposes I just want to make sure that you know how to apply the zoom zoom effect hey guys thanks for watching this video if you want to see more, please click the subscribe button. Throughout my year of playing around with Shotcut, I've discovered some easy tricks and hacks that have definitely sped up my workflow and made my videos look better. If you're curious about how to do specific effects, please comment below so I can create a tutorial video. Let's help each other out. I appreciate your subscription. Until next time.